Hey there, viewers. Pregnancy is a mixed experience. On one hand, you're super happy and excited because you're giving birth to a new life. But on the other hand, the bodily changes, discomfort, and hormones can turn you into a bundle of nerves. Today's video is a bit special as we have a board-certified music therapist, Jenna Bollard, with us. She's worked on the Expressive Arts Therapies program at UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital. In this video, she'll walk you through the importance of music therapy as a tool to overcome anxiety and stress during pregnancy. As a specialist in music therapy-assisted childbirth and neurological music therapy, Jenna strongly believes in harnessing the healing powers to assist through childbirth. She herself applied the concept of womb song during her pregnancy. Without further ado, let's first hear from Jenna about her approach to music therapy. Hi, my name is Jenna Bollard. I'm a board certified music therapist, and I wanted to speak a bit about the power of music throughout the perinatal experience. Music can be an extremely powerful modality to harness during the prenatal experience, throughout labor and delivery, and throughout all of postpartum as well. Music naturally helps to produce hormones such as oxytocin, which can help us throughout the labor and delivery process and help us to bond with our babies. It also can help to decrease cortisol levels and regulate all of our nervous system. What is really special about music is it is one of the ways um, that we can activate the vagus nerve, which is a powerful nerve that is a pathway to our parasympathetic nervous system. Just by singing or humming, we're activating our vagus nerve. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable singing, um, deep breathing along to music that you listen to and relax to is another powerful way to do so. Um, during pregnancy, I recommend beginning to assemble a playlist that you can use as a ritual traditionally each night as you connect with baby, um, as you sort of prepare for the next phase, this huge transition. And allow this music, these tracks, preferably without words, just kind of feel good instrumentals that won't cause you to analyze lyrics or anything. Just allow this time to be a time where you can connect with baby, do things that you associate with relaxation. And then you can be using this playlist throughout labor and delivery, um, in early labor, and you can also use it in postpartum when you're connecting with baby. What emphasizes the impact of music is if you sing along, hum along, or if you just take deep breaths to the tracks um, and just connect with your body and allow music to do its thing. What kind of music do you like? Jazz, instrumental, metal, or rock? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. What does science say about music therapy? Several mothers have had a positive experience using music as a wellness tool. It opens up bodily senses, helps you relax, and makes you feel safe. A recent study found that listening to music helped pregnant women overcome prenatal anxiety. As a result, the health of a developing fetus benefited. Experts suggest expressive art therapies and music helped people deal with mental health issues like eating disorders, depression, and anxiety. You can definitely try it out alongside your prescribed medications and psychotherapy. Music benefits your baby's brain. Sounds strange, but it is true. Listening to music is not only good for the expecting mother, but it also positively influences your child's growth and development in the womb. Music helps develop a young child's brain. Maybe that's why lullabies are so popular. Can babies hear from the womb? Sure they can. When you're 16 to 18 weeks pregnant, your baby will hear their very first sounds. By the time you're in your last few months of pregnancy, your baby's ears have developed. They respond to voices and sounds by turning their heads. You won't believe how smart an unborn baby is. They can recognize their mother's voice, rhymes, word patterns, and language. Which brings us back to our discussion about music therapy during pregnancy. This is why we have a womb song. What is a womb song? It's a song you softly sing to your child while they're still in the womb. The concept was developed by Mary DiCamillo, founder of Sound Birthing Music Therapy Assisted Childbirth. The idea behind the womb song is for expecting parents to work with their prenatal music therapist and co-write a song. Sing this song to your baby every night throughout your pregnancy. While writing the lyrics, remember your song is a message to your unborn baby. Tell them they're loved and safe. Is the womb song useful after childbirth? Yes, the womb song will stay with your child forever. It has an inexplicable power to make you feel safe and relaxed. Maybe because you first heard it when you were in your mother's womb, where you were feeling safe and loved. Researchers have found babies can remember words and sounds much longer than they originally thought. 
They were surprised to find out babies could remember individual songs. Music certainly helps babies bond with their mothers. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn more about the nine best foods to boost your brain function and memory. Physiology behind music and childbirth. Music is helpful during prenatal and postnatal, but what about childbirth? Can it help you relax during the most testing time of your life? Music releases oxytocin, which serves as a natural pain reliever. It'll also help you better manage your pain, bond with your child, and experience a heightened relaxation response. Besides this, when you're very strategic about using music to cue relaxation, you can build pleasant memories around certain songs. Listen to these songs daily with a relaxed mindset to create positive associations and happy memories. These songs will become your relaxation cues during labor. But remember, it isn't just music that'll give you a positive experience. Your sense of safety and relaxation also comes from building a relationship with your therapist. Having your partner support you through the process is also incredibly helpful. What music should you listen to during pregnancy? I suggest you listen to gentle sounds like lullabies, classic music, soft instrumentals, and melodies. Anything that is pleasant to hear and makes you feel happy and safe is great for your baby. Anxiety can be a life-altering illness. It certainly affects your quality of life. You might not even realize this, but there can be things that you do solely because of anxiety. So how can you reduce it? Music is one option. How about food? Are there foods you need to avoid if you want to keep calm? Watch 12 things you're doing because of high-functioning anxiety. Next, watch 5 foods to avoid if you have anxiety. Go ahead and click one. Better yet, watch both. Have you heard about music therapy before? Let us know in the comments below.